Good evening. Good evening. And Merry Christmas to you. Please stand as we sing. O come all you faithful and welcome to those who are joining us online. We're glad that you're here. Merry Christmas to you and yours this night and this evening. God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God, you make us glad by the yearly festival of the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Grant that we who joyfully receive him as our Redeemer may with sure confidence behold him when he comes to be our judge. He who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. book of Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, God. Gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went to from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. 
He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you was born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you, and you will find a child wrapped in brown bands of cloth lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. was the night before Christmas, and a custom I'll keep, preaching Joseph and Mary and angels and sheep. If you've joined in the past, then you'll certainly know, making merry with rhyme, I can hardly forego. <laughs> These lyrics may sound some like Clement Clark Moore. Something this night has to be the same as before. But sugar plums, reindeer, and jolly Saint Nick take a back seat to Jesus in my rhyming shtick. <laughs> our readings from scripture repeat year to year, but our lives are so different this season, I fear. Dropping handshakes and hugs were our primary tasks. Who would have thought winter kerchiefs would still be these masks? <laughs> We have wandered and wandered in search of TP. We pavilioned our worship and sung in with glee. To think for a moment that church could be scary, reservations and distance are not ordinary. Nor is taking all temps with that cute thermal toy. All these little hassles are thwarting our joy. Yet these dronings are small, just whining chatter. In the final analysis, so much more matters. Economic turbulence exacts a great toll, as do millions of deaths round the world to condole. Lost lives form a litany from COVID to Floyd. Injustice, uncertainty, and scores unemployed. Our election was certainly one for the books, and tough orders to shelter kept us tucked in our nooks. An onslaught of hurricane, fires raging out west, while the world waits on needles to put pandemic to rest. We are weary and worried, yet resilient and true. That's what God's people have been called on to do. <coughs> to be here is one way to show God you care. The flip is to carry your faith while out there. 
So let's gird up our souls and put forward best foot and not mope around sadly in ashes and soot. As we ponder on all holy things birthed on this night, let us likewise remember they followed a plight. Many journeyed through trials, anxiety, and wonder with forces afoot to split good faith asunder. Magi fixing their gaze on a western bright star loaded camels with gifts and traveled afar. What's odd in their quest is they weren't even Jews, but their sojourn doth signal good Gentile reviews. Dear Joseph was Jewish, as was Mary his bride. Annunciation and dream, a vision supplied. A new life they would lead with purpose and cost, a burden to Gary, their prized son to be lost. These favored ones muddled through politics too, Herod's hubris and census they all did get through. How did they make it on journeys so troublesome? Can they gift us with tips, leave a spiritual crumb? Blessed pointers are needed now more than ever as we pivot through this, our own strange endeavor. So we glean from our saints perseverance and trust. Obedience and vision are also a must. With these firm in our hearts, we can face life's surprises, like pandemic or protests in all shapes and sizes. Though some have wondered, are these the end times? Will Jesus return to make us pay for our crimes? We profess in our creed that he will come again, but tis fruitless to calculate precisely when. Instead, we should zoom in on the already known, the babe in a manger and a Christ, a Messiah all grown. The babe fulfills promise, gives humanity hope that God loves the world from the saint to the dope. Grown Jesus shared miracles, water changed into wine, washing feet of disciples as they gathered to dine. That act of humility echoed the first, descending from heaven in our nature submersed. Incarnation, we call it. The best gift of all. Our vaccine against sin in a child oh so small. How might God administer all needed doses? Had he labored, he had labored before from Adam to Moses. Many prophets forewarned with great antibody. Then God gave his word and he gave it a body. Sin's cure is this simple. If we'd only take heed to love fully our neighbors and to help those in need. Christ walked that walk all the way to the cross, proving once more that God's love <clears throat> is the boss. Listen, brothers and sisters, with the ear of your heart. God calls with that love and the gift of fresh start. From this night, focus not on presence with bows, but make a gift of yourself as our dear Savior chose. This Christmas need not be different than others, though masking and distancing are not our druthers. In your journey's hence, show all neighbors deep care. Model holy humility and embody God's prayer. That's a test in which all hope for a positive bringing faith, hope, and love in habits so causative. Whatever your journeys, live as children of light. Merry Christmas to all. And to all the good night. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Please stand and let us profess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified and under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the people. Father, on this holy night we pray for all who seek you, know you, and follow you. That we all may be one. Grant that every heart prepares him a womb, that we may humbly serve you all the days of our lives. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief sickness, or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal life. Let that light perpetual shine upon them. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. We give you thanks for this chance to worship. We give you thanks for all who have given towards the flowers and decorations and the planning of the service. For all who are tuning in, wherever they may be, to continue to warm their hearts. Because you have created this holy night to shine with the brightness of the true light, grant, we pray then, that all who have known the mystery of that light on earth may also enjoy him perfectly in heaven, where with you and the Holy Spirit he lives and reigns, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry. on you, forgive you all your sins to our Lord Jesus Christ. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Spirit keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace of the Lord. Peace. Peace of the Lord. Peace of the Lord. Peace of the Lord. Peace of the Lord. Peace of the Lord.
Jack. That's Beast Bromley. That's Beast Ginger. Joe. Ted and Nancy. God's Beast. You may be seated. Once again, good evening and Merry Christmas. So glad that you all are here. So thankful for this opportunity to worship together in these ways. And for those of you who are joining online, again, welcome to you. Just a few announcements uh, to make. Uh, one is that, um, as you may have heard, the bishop has suspended our worship starting the 27th of December through the month of January. So this is actually one of the last times we'll be worshiping in church for a while. And so that makes it a special treat. Just stay tuned, and as things progress, we'll know again when we'll be able to come and worship in person in those ways. As we get to our Eucharistic prayer towards the end, after the breaking of the bread, we do a little something different. There's one verse of a little town of Bethlehem that's there for us to sing. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given. And that's sort of what happens at communion. It's a very silent time but it's a gift that comes with us, so we, we take that moment and we sing it. So just be ready for that when the time comes. And speaking of communion, we have different sets up for families, and those of you who are in groups of family, what we ask you to do is all come up together at once, but then what we'll do is administer to you in your smaller family groups. So we won't have all seven or eight wafers on one pattern. We'll, we'll spread those out, and we'll get it to you the best we can that way the wine that you are drinking or whatever is not given to anybody else. So you can drink from that, you can dip your wafer into it, whatever you feel like doing is certainly fine. Uh, and this side will go first from the front to the back and then that side from the back to the front in terms of communion. There are some communion hymns that we have, so while others are receiving, you are welcome to, to sing in with Silent Night and Away in the Manger, ones that you know well, uh, that just to keep the holiness of this night going. Again, thanks to all who have prepared the way to make this worship, those who have decorated, those who have given for the flowers and other things, our, our lay readers, our altar guild, all who have gone the extra mile to figure all this out, very thankful for that. Our offering plate is at the back, as you may have seen. You can always give online, and we thank you, as always, for your generosity of time, talent, and treasure that keeps our ministry going. Ascribe to the Lord the honor to his name, bring offerings, and come into his courts with praise. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is a right and good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because you gave Jesus Christ your only Son to be born for us who by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, his mother, so that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become your children. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth, give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. 
In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection unto your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country, where with Mary and Joseph and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the peace. Hallelujah.
standing, let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with the spiritual food and the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace, and we grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and things heavenly, fill you with his joy and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.